are in a beautiful Pismo Beach morning. Photographed it facing the ocean just behind me over here, but very special. 1932 Ford Roadster, Brookfield steel body, very low back built. Cruise around and tell you about it like we usually do. I'm gonna have a little bit of a sun problem here as I get about over here, but let you take a look at it here. Uh, finished in what I think is a Washington blue or close to a Washington blue. Uh, it's 265 70R16s on the rear. We will get it up on the lift. It has billet specialties, kidney bean style wheels, Willwood disc, disc brakes front to rear. Again, we'll get it up on the lift and get a little bit more descriptive on that. It has a very low back chassis, 32 style frame rails, tubular inner structure, ladder bar suspension in the rear. Four bar suspension up front. Tire size is a, uh, uh, we'll get it here, 185 60R15. Cool, nice hot rod style. It has a Sid Shavers bop top on it here. Working cow vent. 25 louver hood side, reproduction hood side. He actually has a set of 32 headlights, if you like the bigger ones, that would go with it. Up here, you'll see the polished backing plates, that type of thing. Forged dropped axle, chrome plated. Nice little spreader bar up front here. 32 grill shell. Show it here. Underneath the hood here is a 350 Chevy V8. Very nice uh, horsepower that he just recently freshened up on it. It's the kind of car you can drive and run down the highway at 75 miles an hour at 1800 RPM. Aluminum cylinder heads, Edelbrock intake manifold, Dominator style carburetor. You can catch the beach out there right now. 700 R4 automatic overdrive transmission. Ford nine inch rear differential. Chrome door hinges here, so it's got the exposed door hinges, gives it that good authentic feel. He does have a full set of side curtains. This is kind of a, you can run it in uh, chilly weather easily. Enjoy it on a cool morning on the way to a car show. Very nice interior. I don't know who did the interior, but I'm sure it was part of the low back build. Uh, tight German square weave style carpet. Nice little map pockets front and rear, or here and there, and there's a uh, audio player that's mounted in the trunk that has a face plate. Get you up underneath the dash. Hot rod heater. This is a very tidy hot rod. Low car style shifter. This is an ultra leather. I was thinking it was leather. I was looking at the texture of it. It's an ultra leather interior. It looks just like leather, but it does better in the elements. Almost stepped off a curb there. Kind of give you a feel here. Tilt steering column, nice drop down with a tachometer in there. Pedals are easy to reach. See the speakers on the kick panel over there. This bop top is very easily removable. They're lightweight. Beautiful morning, end of a long road trip for Spudman. Great way to finish up with a really nice little hot rod here. Got some video running down the road we'll post on Instagram well cared for hot rod uh, 50 pontiac tail lights on it spreader bar in the rear oem style we'll touch that up some touch-up paint will be included with it a nice look huh little breeze chilly breeze Nice two-tone gray and silver interior here. See, it looks like leather, but this is an ultra leather. I can tell by the feel. Again, weathers well. Tilt column here. See if we can back in here. 
hard to do with a camera in your hand sometimes. The miles on the entire build are 9581. Of course, it's recently had a freshen up. Uh, we'll have a receipt for that. The heater's plenty good to blow some heat on you there. That is a vintage air heater. Headlight switches are down here. Trunk releases, I believe, up here. Yes, it is. Get there and get a peek out of that for you. Fuse panel. Starts right up. Like I said, well cared for hot rod. Three quarters of a tank, 12 volts. Temperature this really hasn't warmed up today at all. We just pulled it down a few blocks. Very nice horsepower. I'll let you hear it run. Nice level of detail, very tidy car. Um, has an MSD distributor in it, billet distributor, electronic ignition, Summit Dominator style carburetor on it. It's a 350 Chevy V8. And I forgot to mention it's an RPM performer intake manifold. Has aluminum cylinder heads on it, bored about 30 over. Recent once through on that, we'll have the receipt at Spud's Garage. Has Sanderson long tube headers on it. Ceramic coated. Billet pulleys up front, high amp alternator. These uh, low back cars are very well built. Definitely not cookie cutter style, so to speak. You can tell the time spent on them. Mechanical fuel pump here, mini high torque starter, electric choke on it, digital e curve distributor on this side. I was able to tell you that it has an electric cooling fan, probably a cooling components fan, coolant reservoir right here. You can tell AN fittings all the way through the brakes, polished stainless lines. We'll have it up on the lift here shortly. It has a 700R4 automatic overdrive transmission in it. Ford 9 inch rear differential. The owner says this old girl will do 75, 80 down the freeway at 1800 RPMs. We're going to reach in and fire it up here. Starts right up. during the walk around, which I'm going to do in a minute, it has 25 liter wood sides on it, reproduction. Drive this one. Matches the interior, same flow in the back here, very tidy car, you can tell this one's taken care of. Uh, there's a panel back here where the gel battery is, faceplate for the radio, hit it there, German square weave carpet, nice little 32 Ford mat in the trunk. Right here are the side curtains, we're actually going to install one of these for you. Okay, to put the curtains on, he just takes off the wind wing here, he's taking off one here and this here and that wind wing comes off. Okay, now it's installed here. Notice how the rain gutter goes up over it. There's no wind that comes in. This is custom made, I've not seen one. And if you want to open up the door, you just do that. Cover the undercarriage here for you. Beautiful. 
underside here. Really wanted you to get a peek at this one because I knew how nice it was. We didn't wipe down anything on it. Out back here, it has Willwood polished disc brakes in the rear, rear disc brakes with the polished backing plates. Has adjustable coilovers in the rear here. This is a very low back chassis. It's been, the rails have been pinched in the front. Ladder bar style suspension with a pan hard bar up here. Look at the finish. Same color as the rest of the car. The exhaust is just beautiful. Mandrel bent, stainless steel. Hush power mufflers. Ladder bar here. They also have a dropout cross member so you can get the tranny out if you needed to. 700R4 transmission. Nice uh, cooling oil pan here for the tranny. Trans coolers up here in the frame rail. You'll see all the lines along the frame here are just gorgeous. AN fitting. Inline fuel filter there. Horns, dual horns are mounted in the sub rail here. It's chrome plated master cylinder. That's Corvette style, so that's a one inch bore master. Four bar suspension up front here. Traditional Vega cross steer, Vega box. Steering stabilizer on it. Pan hard bar here. Polished Wilwood disc calipers up front. All AN lines, chrome oil pan. The bottom of the 350 V8. Long tube headers. These are Sanderson. So good quality headers. This thing's got uh, lots of ponies in it. Not overdone, but just right. Get you up front here. Again, comes with a pair of headlights, 32 Ford headlights, if you want the big headlights. The halogen beams with turn signals in it there. One more pass through here.